Barack Obama speaks to a huge crowd in Germany. A secret memo outlines the definition of torture, and Russia says there are no plans to place nuclear bombers in Cuba. Hello and welcome to the news. The G is silent. News is brought to you by viewers like you. Thanks for your support. Hey, America, for sponsorship or advertising opportunities, contact news at amazingcosbars.com. In Germany, a crowd of roughly 200,000 people listened enthusiastically as presidential hopeful Barack Obama called for unity between U.S. and Europe. Obama was all like, thank you for coming to my speech today. I'll be talking about a lot of things that inspire you and not much about foreign policy, defense, or trade. But look at the history and other such inspiring things. It's so inspiring to be inspired. And stateside, John McCain was all like, hi, my friends. I would love to give a speech in Germany when I'm president, my friends. That's why, my friends, I'm here at Schmidt's Sausage House. It's also German, my friends. And I'm going to be talking about important things, my friends, like the economy, my friends, and other domestic issues instead of grandstanding, my friends, to a crowd of 200,000, my friends. A 2002 Bush administration secret memo from the Justice Department on the subject of torture was released Thursday. The ACLU, which obtained the memo, was all like, Ooh, goody, let me see. Huh. Uh, redacted. Now this one's in cursive. Redacted. Block letters with a smiley face. Thanks. Just give up already, R-E-D-A-C-T-E-D. -E -D. Uh, dear you, redacted, love us. Okay, uh, phonetically, redacted. Oh, oh look, here's one. Oh, that's interesting. And people in the Bush administration were like, I don't see what's so bad here. It just says that the way to define torture is if you intend it to be torture. So if you're simulating drowning and you don't intend it to be torture, then that's not torture. It's all about what's in your heart. People should get a handle on that. And Russia denies a news report that it is potentially sending nuclear bomber aircraft to Cuba in protest to a U.S. missile defense plan. Russia was all like, ho, 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 hello. Let's think about this for a moment because Russia, due to its peace-loving nature, would not build a military base in another nation. This is ridiculous. Obviously, we would first take over the, I mean... No, no, we would have some vodka. That's what we would do. And the U.S. general was all like, Hey, my name is Norton Schwartz. That might sound familiar to you, because it sounds like Norman Schwartzkopf. See, it's similar. I'm a no-nonsense kind of guy. And what I'm saying is, that would be a red line for the United States of America. Think about it. Red, commie, line. Don't cross it, Norton Schwartz. And that's today's news. I'm Marta Costello, and ah, I so liked my last joke that I totally went blank on what I was going to tell you guys. I had something, and on oh, nuts. Maybe next time. Oh, 
I remember. Um, 2000, great. I know I haven't talked about it very much, but I, uh, it's been rough lately. But the thing is, I'm hoping that in the spirit of 2000, great, maybe you guys could give me some suggestions for a really powerful song, like a song to listen to to get you amped up about something, like a new one, not like Eye of the Tiger. Not, not if you like it, nothing against it. But um, if you have song suggestions, go to news.com and leave them in the comments for me there. And uh, thanks. Come on now.